All right, good morning, and uh, welcome back. We want some more, we want some more. We're done with our homework, now we're gonna move on to uh, Classwork 8.3. You have page 537, one through 19 odd. I'm gonna go ahead and just work through two problems with you, 13 and 17. Um, uh, because I think uh, there are things maybe you haven't quite, uh, you haven't seen in a video from me yet. Uh, and I think 17, some people might be intimidated by it, but as hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see it's exactly like 13 um, and uh, really no, no difficult, no more difficult than uh, one where they've already drawn the triangle for you. So actually, I'll leave that off. So camera focuses on the paper. Okay, so 13, same instructions. We are solving the triangle, which just means we need all three sides and all three angles. And so I'm going to do this just like I did in the other video. Uh, we're going to say we need, except now we've got RPQ. So I need to know uh, angle R, angle P, and angle Q. I need to know what uh, little r side is. I need to know what P is. And I need to know what Q is. Always six pieces of information to solve a triangle. Uh, let's fill in what I know. Always know my right angle. Q is 90 degrees. P across from P, so P is 3.1, R is 8.9, and so that leaves me with one side to find, Q, and my two angles, R and P. So, going all the way back to chapter one, we can find Q right away. Let's go ahead and practice A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I could use trig to do this, but it, it really is no reason to get that complicated. So, we're just going to go 3.1 squared plus 8.9 squared equals Q squared. So let's take my handy dandy friend and we'll go with 3.1. Let's square it. 9.61 plus, I'll clear it out, 8.9 squared. A little bigger, 79.21 equals Q squared. I'm going to add those together, 79.21 plus 9.6 gives me 88.81 equals Q squared. So I'm just going to square root both sides. So I need to square root, a little awkward on this. I highly recommend a regular calculator versus your phone because it's just much, uh, it's a much more fluid experience. Uh, we are going to, by the way, we'll just check our rounding. Uh, we are going to round to the nearest hundredth after we square root this, 9.42. Which makes sense. It should be the longest of the three sides because it is the hypotenuse. And it is 9.42. Yep, that's right. So we have found our first piece of information, 9.42. The other reason I wanted to do this problem is unlike the homework, notice I don't know any angles yet. So we are going to get to use inverse function, trig functions. That is so exciting. Okay, so we don't know the other two angles. So here it is where you have options. Pick the one you want, R. Do you like R? Do you like P? Pick your favorite. I'm going to go with R. Sorry all you P fans out there, but I'm doing it. Okay, so if I want to find R first, and again, I need to look at what I have. I need the, I'm, I, I, I know all of this. I have all these sides, so so many options, 9.42. I just need to pick two sides and set it up with the right SOKATOA, SOKATOA, SOKATOA ratio. So let's just go with why not opposite over adjacent. I'm going to use opposite over adjacent, OA. So that means I'm going to do tangent. So I would set it up as tangent of, I don't know, R. Let's find out. See, notice we use inverse functions when we don't know the angle. Tangent of R equals 8.9 over opposite over adjacent 3.1. And so that's going to basically mean I, I, R is going to be equal to the inverse tangent of this ratio, 8.9 over 3.1. And so I should get something, some sort of reasonable degree answer once I solve this or else I've done something wrong. So let's check it out because I could be. I'm doing this real. I'm doing this live. I have not solved this yet. I don't know the answer ahead of time. So you guys are watching something very risky here. Uh, inverse tangent again, uh, divided by 
Make sure you put all in parentheses, 3.1. Close my parentheses. Oh, I think I'm going to be happy. There she is, 70.79 degrees. So we're going to round that. It says round to the nearest whole degree. So that is, oh, you can't see it. That is 71 degrees. Angle R, folks, it is official, is 71 degrees. I know, I know. Shh, it's exciting. Men are weeping. Women are cheering. Babies are crying everywhere. 71 degrees. So R, we'll say it again for those of you who just can't believe it, 71 degrees. So again, notice how I did that. I set up, I picked the angle I wanted to find, and I picked an appropriate SOHCAHTOA ratio. I could have done all sorts of things. I could have done cosine of R, and then it would have been my adjacent over my hypotenuse. I could have picked sine of R, and it would have been my opposite over hypotenuse. I could do this three more times, and we would keep getting 71 degrees, even with all three trig options. I will not bore you with that. Um, and if you're excited, you'd like to do that just for fun, uh, Zoom me later. Now we just need the last angle. I could do this all over again, and I could set up a ratio for P. And again, I would have lots of options. I could do tangent, this over this. I could do sine, this over this. I could do cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, and find that. However, I'm lazy, I got things to do, um, and so I can very easily find this other angle by subtracting this one from 90, because remember, these, these all add up to 180, and these two, because I know 90's here, these two must add up to 90. So. For the sake of time, 90 minus 71 is, what is that, 29 or 19? That's 19, right? Yeah, 19. 19 degrees. Let's just end it. All right, and now we have it. All three sides and all three angles, and we got to use an inverse trig function because we didn't know the angle, and we had to just use the ratio. Okay, so number 17 is exactly the same. It is a right triangle. Um, I'm not going to know any of the degrees, and we're just going to need to solve for all three sides. Uh, notice the key was to graph it. Once you graph it, you realize, oh, it's just like this, because it asks for the side lengths. We can actually find, and this is actually easier than 13, because we're going to be able to find side lengths very quickly. Um, and so let's check it out. Uh, let's put our, we, got, we need to find angle S, angle R, and angle T. And we need to find side S, side R, side T. Notice for the sides, I always use lowercase to differentiate them from angles. Um, well, let's see. Here's our right angle. So S is 90 degrees. Boom, luma. Okay, I'm going to have to calculate T and R. But my side lengths, I can find those out. So side S, or, or sorry, side T, this would be side T. This would be side S. This would be side R. Side T is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it's just so nice to count. So side T is, what did I say, 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I see you laughing, Maya. It's going to be okay. Side R is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So R is 6. So not necessarily any easier. We're just now we're exactly in the position we were up here. I know two sides, one angle. I can find the third side how? That's right, Pythagoras. So here we go. We can T squared plus R squared equals S squared. So 6 squared plus 5 squared equals S squared. That's a little easier than all those decimals. 36 plus 25 equals S squared. Uh, that's going to be 61 equals S squared. So S is approximately... It's approximately the square root find that right. Oh, I got my, my inverse here. Square root of 61, 7.81. 7.81. That is correct. Oh, let me make sure you can see that. 7.81. So S squared is approximately 7.81 because we had to round it. So that's exactly what we did here. Good old Pythagoras. Get used to him. He's very useful. Okay, and now we've got, we're rich. We're rich. I'm going to write these in so I make sure I have them right. 7.81, R is equal to 6, T is equal to 5. Now I can just decide which uh, angle I want to find first and which ratio I want to use. So uh, what do you guys think? Let's use, uh, I like cosine, I something about cosine. So, And I like T. Let's go with T. So cosine of T 
equals, now once you've picked the angle and once you've picked the, the function, you've got to make sure you do your SOHCAHTOA correctly. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent to T is 6. And hypotenuse, 7.81. And so now I'm ready to inverse cosine this. Inverse cosine of my fraction, my ratio, is going to give me angle T. All right, she's back. All right, so here we go. Inverse cosine of 6 divided by 7.81. Thirty-nine point eight. For a second, I panicked. I thought that's a big number, but then you realize that's the so, that's an angle, not a side length. So, and we're supposed to round to the nearest whole degree, and so they're saying, "Yep, that's forty degrees." They want us to round that to forty degrees. So, T is a cold temperature. If it was temperature, forty degrees. Oh, sorry, that box is not so nice. Forty degrees. That makes finding R just kind of like falling asleep at night because these have to add up to 90. So if T is 40 degrees, that means R must be 50 degrees. 90 minus 40 is 50. So I have just, hallelujah, praise Jesus forevermore, solved another triangle. Even a scary one that I had to plot three coordinates that at first I thought, man, this looks impossible. Okay. Uh, please Zoom me today. I, I want to help. I want to tutor. Nobody's contacting me, so I'm just assuming you guys are rocking this and going to be ready for our quiz uh, next Tuesday. So talk to you soon. Again, happy to help however you need me.